14 exceptional women who have worked to better the lives of women in Los Angeles County. Mayor Karen Bass was among them receiving the President's Award. All right, it is almost 5 a.m. Here's what's happening today in L.A. Well, a federal push to stop gun violence. President Biden will be in Monterey Park today, his first visit to the Los Angeles area since that mass shooting. We're live ahead of his arrival. And flooding fears. We've got a lot of rain coming, and there are already some evacuation orders in Ventura County. We will take you there live. That's right, Lynette. This latest storm is really going to pack a punch. We're talking several inches of rain, and that means mudslides, overflowing creeks, travel delays. Oh, ay, ay, ay. I'm timing everything out coming up in your first solar forecast. Today in LA at 5 starts now. Teeth. How could that happen? Ooh, it's happening that's fast. True. Ay, yeah. Dios mio. Slow down and savor the moment. <laughs> <laughs> how, how, how did you feel it was outside? I thought it was nice out this morning, right? And I mean, actually, it feels, it feels really feels good. good. Yeah, yeah I didn't sprint through the door. <laughs> you know, usually I run because it's so cold, but it's yeah. feeling good. Yeah, my question for you, because you're always super prepared and uh -huh. you have like a gajillion umbrellas. Did you bring <laughs> one with you? There's one in the front seat. Get but it ready. should be here, here right? with you. in case it's raining when I leave. I'll get it together one day. I know, right? You still have a little bit of time, though, right? <laughs> yes, yeah. yes, yes. We still got some time before that rain arrives here. Good morning, everyone. Let's take a look at the forecast because I'm tracking a storm. Right now, things are calm. We have these very cloudy skies, and it just looks very creepy out there. We have some... This is going to be in effect today and tomorrow. What this means, folks, it's most, more likely that we're going to see some flooding. And there's just going to be a lot of rain that's going to be flowing into the rivers, into the creeks. So those are going to swell up. Plus that rain falling on top of the snowpack in the mountains, that's going to increase the snow melt and cause more runoff. Satellite and radar showing some very cloudy skies. Maybe a scattered shower right now over in the San Fernando Valley with the rain picking up in Ventura County. It's all very light and calm right now, but look what's out towards our west. All of this moisture is headed in our direction. Now, ahead of that, we have very saturated air, and right now, visibility is down in a few spots. So what this means is that we have some foggy conditions traveling through L.A. County and through the San Gabriel Valley. Temperatures right now, not bad. 50s, 60s, we're actually pretty comfortable. There's not going to be much of a range today because of that rain moving in. And look at this camera. This is San Pedro. We're looking at rain increasing throughout the day, becoming heavier this afternoon and evening, and breezy conditions as well with highs in the 60s. I'll be back to take Take a look at the timing of the rain and how much we're going to see this time. But right now, let's talk traffic. Hey, Rob. Hey, Valen. Good morning. Good morning to the commuters. The early birds getting ready to hit the road. We're checking out the 60. We're off to a fantastic start. This is your drive passing Hacienda Boulevard. Doesn't that look good? So smooth conditions for the 60 east and west through Hacienda Heights. Your drive time here is under 25 minutes, leaving Riverside from the 215 off to the 57. So no big trouble spots. What about the 10? The drive from Colton to Pomona is wide open. The 210 for my friends leaving San Bernardino, under 25 minutes from the 215 off to the 57. Now, it is picking up on the 15. You know, you have the lane reduction and the closure for the southbound drive that you've been dealing with for a couple of weeks now. 72 minutes. Yeah, it's off to a slow start from Oak Hill down to Corona. The 14 is picking up. We're already at 40 minutes for the drive, but the 91 looks fantastic. We'll check more freeways and more drive times coming up. Lynette, Adrian, back to you. All right, see you soon, Robin. Thank you. 502 right now. President Biden is in Southern California this morning, and after spending a day in San Diego, the president is heading to the San Gabriel Valley in just a few hours. President Biden is scheduled to visit Monterey Park, where that tragic mass shooting happened. NBC4's Lauren Coronado is live in Monterey Park with more on the big announcement that the president is set to make today as well. Good morning, Lauren. Lynette, Adrian, good morning. That's right. The president is expected to land at LAX a little before noon today before coming here to Monterey Park, where he's expected to detail an executive order aimed at reducing gun violence, which, according to the White House, includes plans to increase the number of background checks before firearms purchases, promote better firearm storage, address the loss or theft of firearms during shipping, among a number of other provisions, like working with law enforcement agencies to identify and stop shooters, federal support for gun violence survivors, and more. His visit today comes about two months since the Monterey Park mass shooting. 
when 11 people were killed by a gunman, nine others injured during that Lunar New Year celebration.